This is one of my favorite tricks inside of Power BI, and it's basically just letting people see what they're supposed to be seeing inside of Power BI service. Based on the email that they log in with, they'll have a welcome message as well as pre-filtering to the actual data that they're supposed to be looking at. The first thing that you need is actually everyone's email, but you need to have it twice with zeros and ones so that you can differentiate between who's selected and who's not. Then of course, that access table needs to filter your data set somehow. Then we create a button slicer with a unique identifier inside of the access table. Then we format it, go to the callout values, turn off the values, turn on the label, and make sure that we put the current name into the label field where we'll have all of these different values. And then we're going to make sure we have the top items selected. These are going to be the ones that have been selected as one. This measure right here is the secret sauce. And we add it to the visual and make sure that the filter is set to one. Now we're also going to create a calculation group. And even though this one's a little bit trickier, what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a filter. And we're going to apply that filter to the entire page and just put it on. And you'll see that the values have now started changing properly. And that gives us this wonderful effect where basically when you're logged in as a specific user, you'll see exactly what they're supposed to see and it'll be filtered to what they're supposed to see. But you can switch between what they're, you know, it's like being selected as and other people, or you can even select multiple people. And that's actually one of my favorite Power BI tricks because it makes sure that your users and stakeholders never get lost on your page.